This past Saturday, I joined up with a bunch of fellow riders from my Facebook group, Central Arkansas Motorcycle Riders, to ride down to historic Washington State Park for their annual Jonquil Festival. Leaving my suburb, I head across the Arkansas River on a cold March morning to the outlets of Little Rock where I'm meeting two more riders before we head down to meet the rest of the bunch about 20 miles down the road at JJ's truck stop. Finally getting off the interstate, I drive the few dozen yards to the outlet mall where I meet the other riders and go over the ride before leaving and hopping back on the interstate to make our way towards Hope. Around the hot springs exit, I'm shaking my head because I just watched a minivan cross two lanes of traffic and cut off one of my rider friends to make this exit. People are crazy. Be careful out there, guys. As we approach the exit where we are going to join the rest of the bunch, I'm thankful that we aren't riding the interstate to the park, but rather US 67, as I really don't like riding the interstate unless I have to. Meeting the rest of the group at the truck stop, all the pleasantries and introductions are made and supplies are bought before we hop back on our bikes for the Jonquil Festival. A few dozen miles down the road, we make our first pit stop to make sure everyone is on the same page and doing okay, ride rise. After everyone is on the same page and back on the bikes, we head back on the highway where the road straightens out and the trees start to thin as we make our way towards Hope. Around this time, my battery dies, so I don't have any footage of the rest of the ride or the festival itself. The festival itself was more of a craft fair with little emphasis on the jonquils themselves and more on the commercial activities of the various vendors. While fun, it just wasn't my thing, but the park itself seemed neat and I do plan on returning later in the year for a proper visit. After a slow time getting started back home, we finally leave Hope with a reduced number of riders. Some of them decided to go to the Harley Davidson store in Texarkana while others left long before for their own rides. Out of the original 14 riders, five of us were left to make the trip back north alone. Just north of Gum Springs, we crossed an old bridge that had me almost coming off the bike several times. It was that bumpy. Seriously, Ardot, fix your roads. This could kill someone. Back in Gurdon, we made a pit stop one last time to say goodbye, because after our Cadelphia a few miles to the north, I would be solo back to Little Rock as the rest of the group was stopping to eat. Riding the last few miles into town with the group was fun. There's something about riding in a group that you just don't get solo. But like all good things, this came to an end as well.
As I turned towards the interstate to make a quick time home, they all turned towards the restaurant. We waved goodbye for a final time. Back on the interstate, I hightail it back towards Little Rock, making it into the metro just before sunset. of I-30 and onto I-430, I knew that the ride is almost over, but so is daylight, so I pushed the throttle a bit more to get home. Ooh. the Arkansas River for the final time, I'm greeted to a beautiful pink reflection from the sunset just before the battery dies. All in all, the ride was fun, the people were great, I can't wait to do this again soon. The historic Washington State Park is a neat place for history buffs, as that's where the Bowie knife was invented, and you can see all the stuff relating to that and more there. I've linked the park site to the description along with the full ride videos of this ride. Those videos are over three hours in total, so make sure you have plenty of coffee. If you want to come along on our next ride, I've linked the Facebook group to the description as well. If any of you want to come along on our next ride, I've linked to you the Facebook group in the description as well. Feel free to join up and sign up for our next rides. In the meantime, be safe out there and enjoy your adventures on two wheels.